by creatures so terrifying that even dinosaurs seemed like mere teddy bears in comparison. This fearsome creature roamed the planet. They were animals so spine-chilling and bizarre that they make the greatest predators of the reptile era look like amateurs. What made these ancient beings the ultimate peak predators of their time? What can we learn from their dominance and their terrifying features? Join us as we explore the jaw-dropping world of 20 ancient animals that were scarier than dinosaurs. Number 20, Pristachampsis. Unlike today's crocodiles, Pristachampsis was built for life on land. It had long legs that allowed it to move swiftly and efficiently across dry terrain. They provided extra traction, making it a natural-born runner on solid ground. Instead of the flat tail we're used to seeing on modern crocodiles, this ancient beast had a rounded tail, a clear sign that it didn't rely much on swimming. And then there were its teeth, sharp, powerful, and strangely similar to those of large dinosaurs like Tyrannosaurus. With such fearsome jaws, Pristacampsis was a master hunter, ruling the warm forests of the early Eocene. But as time passed and crocodiles adapted more to life in the water, this land-loving species gradually faded away, overshadowed by its aquatic relatives who found greater success in their watery world. Number 19. Dunkleosteus. Dunkleosteus was no ordinary fish. It was a massive killer, stretching between 26 to 32 feet in length. Its body was sleek and powerful, resembling that of a modern shark, but its most striking feature was its armor-plated head. Its face, to put it lightly, was not one that would win any beauty contests, unless the judges were creatures equally as terrifying. But don't be deceived by its appearance. This monstrous fish had a unique weapon. Instead of teeth, Dunkleosteus was equipped with two massive, bony blades that served as its deadly jaws. These blades were capable of slicing through almost anything in the ocean, including other fish, sharks, and even members of its own species. Its diet was as varied as it was horrifying. This ancient killer was not picky and would swallow anything that crossed its path. What made Dunkleosteus even more frightening was the fact that its powerful jaws were self-sharpening. As the bony blades grew, they rubbed against each other, ensuring they were always razor sharp. Scientists believe that these jaws could generate an astonishing bite force of up to 8,000 pounds per square inch, far greater than the 650 pounds per square inch of a lion's bite. This sheer power made Dunkleosteus a true terror of the deep. Number 18. The Jackalopterun A giant among invertebrates, measuring up to a staggering two and a half meters in length. This ancient creature, which lived around 400 million years ago, is a long-extinct ancestor of today's sea scorpions. When researchers from the University of Bristol unearthed a massive 46-centimeter claw belonging to one of these beasts, they quickly realized that Uncle Jake was far from a small fry. He was a massive predator, one that would have dominated its environment long before the age of the dinosaurs. In a scientific paper discussing their find, the University of Bristol team highlighted that these gigantic scorpions were fearsome hunters with an exceptional knack for stalking their prey. Unlike many predators that recklessly pounce at the first opportunity, the Jekyllopterus displayed remarkable patience. It would lie in wait motionless, until the perfect moment to strike, tearing its prey apart with terrifying efficiency. Number 17. Smilodon Smilodon, the legendary sword-toothed predator, once cruised the vast expanses of the Americas during the Pleistocene era, a time when the continent teemed with now-extinct ancient mammals. Its powerful presence left an indelible mark on the ecosystems it dominated. Commonly misidentified as the sword-toothed tiger, Smilodon was, in fact, a member of a unique cat lineage, vastly different from any modern big cat. Belonging to the extinct subfamily Machirodontinae, 
It defied the conventions of today's cats with its remarkable adaptations and fearsome appearance. The very name, Smilodon, derived from the Greek words for double-edged knife and tooth, summarizes the essence of this formidable breed. These creatures were equipped with a pair of upper canine teeth that could grow up to 11 inches long, curving like deadly cutlass. Despite their fearsome appearance, these teeth were surprisingly delicate, designed for precision rather than beast force. Unlike the crushing bite of modern big cats, Smelodon's dogs were used to deliver a swift, deadly strike to the soft throat or belly of their prey, severing vital highways with surgical precision. Smilodon included three recognized species, Smilodon gracilis, Smilodon fatalis, and Smilodon populator. Each species was a robust predator, with Smilodon populator being the largest, weighing up to 900 pounds and standing nearly four feet at the shoulder. These giants roamed the vast grasslands, thick forests, and open plains, preying on massive herbivores like buffalo, camels, and even young giants. Their immense size and power allowed them to take down prey much larger than themselves, making them the undisputed peak predators of their time. The La Brea Tar Pits in Los Angeles, California, provide a unique window into the world of Smilodon. Thousands of Smilodon remnants have been recovered from these tar pits, which acted as natural traps for unsuspecting animals. Number 16. Dolicher Hinchops Imagine a fascinating creature from the ancient seas, swimming around roughly 94 million years ago. This short-necked marvel, known as a Placodontia, was like a rock star of the ocean. With its long, paddle-like fins, it floats through the water with the grace of an acrobat, much like how penguins effortlessly slide across the ice. Its large, sharp eyes were perfect for spotting small prey, giving it the keen vision of a detective on the hunt. But here's the twist. Its mouth was filled with 30 to 40 teeth, yet it didn't chew its food. Instead, this remarkable swimmer swallowed its prey whole. Measuring between 13 to 16.5 feet in length, it likely had incredibly smooth skin that made it even more streamlined in the water. Its fins were something special too, containing nearly 100 bones, which helped it shoot through the water like a spear. However, these fins were too stiff to be useful on land. Despite its ability to dive deep, this creature had to surface regularly to breathe, just like modern marine animals. Luckily, it didn't have many predators to worry about, except for fearsome sharks and a few other dangerous species. Number 15. Terror Birds After a massive fireball wiped out fearsome dinosaurs like the T-Rex and Velociraptor, a new predator emerged to dominate South America, the terror bird. These formidable birds ruled the land for an astounding 60 million years, claiming the title of top predator. Imagine a bird that could grow up to 10 feet tall, almost as high as a basketball ring. It had feet like those of a T-Rex and a massive hooked beak capable of slicing through the spinal cord of a horse with a single deadly strike. The terror bird's reign began long before Central America even existed, back when South America was still an isolated island. While big-toothed cats and wolves filled the predator roles elsewhere, South American mammals were mainly peaceful herbivores. This meant the terror birds had an endless cold meal of plant-eating animals to feast on, without much competition. These swift hunters wielded beaks shaped like pickaxes, which they used to smash downwards and crack the skulls of their prey. They could also use their bony heads as giant meat, and their enormous clawed feet were likely used to deliver powerful kicks to their victims. Over their 60 million year reign, 17 different species of terror birds came and went until they vanished around 2.5 million years ago. Number 14, Endocarus. Imagine a time when the oceans were ruled by a massive creature known as Endocerus. 
a dominant force in the deep waters approximately 485 to 419 million years ago, during the Middle and Upper Ordovician period. Named for its unique inner horn, Endocerus left an indelible mark on the remains record, defining the nautiloid order with its impressive straight-shelled design. This magnificent sea monster boasted a shell with a cross-section slightly wider than it was tall, tapering elegantly from its mature portion down to its younger sections, with straight, transverse stitch. A striking feature of Endocerus was its large sipuncle, a tube-like structure essential for buoyancy control, strategically located near the ventral margin in the younger individuals. As Endocerus aged, this sipuncle evolved, becoming a more tubular and refined feature in adulthood. First described by the paleontologist James Hall in 1847, Endocerus remains have been discovered across the globe, from North America to Europe, and even as far as Australia. While it shares some similarities with the group Camarachuras, Endocerus stands out due to the distinct placement of its sipuncle and the formation of internal walls from an early stage in its development. Number 13. Titanoboa In the realm of movies and legends, where mythical serpents like the basilisk and the German gander lurk, the real-life Titanoboa stands as a monstrous predator far beyond their wildest imaginings. Imagine a serpent stretching over 40 feet in length and weighing up to an astonishing 2,005 pounds, about as heavy as a full-grown giraffe. This ancient giant slithered into existence after the dinosaurs disappeared, seizing the chance to dominate the ecosystem once ruled by mighty predators. Titanoboa's sheer size and power defied what scientists thought possible for a land-dwelling snake. While massive sea creatures like the blue whale, which can grow up to 100 feet long, use the buoyancy of water to support their enormous bodies, Titanoboa likely thrived in swampy, semi-aquatic environments. There, it used its incredible strength to ambush and crush prey. Its hunting grounds were likely filled with large reptiles, giant turtles, and even crocodiles, all of which fell victim to the Titanoboa's deadly embrace. Number 12. Andrew Zarkis. In the spring of 1923, a team of researchers set up their camp in the remote and enchanting Dark Had, famously known as the Valley of the Jewels in Inner Mongolia. During their expedition, they made an astonishing discovery, a remarkably well-preserved skull of a colossal creature, nearly three feet in length. This extraordinary find belonged to a species named Andrusaurus mongoliensis, which remains the sole known specimen of its kind. This giant roamed the Earth about 45 million years ago, reaching an impressive height of around 6 feet at the shoulder and stretching about 12 feet in length. This makes it the largest known terrestrial predator to have ever existed. What sets this species apart is its surprising evolutionary connection to hippos and whales, highlighting the astonishing diversity in the paths of evolution. Known as the Bone Crusher, Due to its massive size and powerful build, this fearsome beast lived during the Eocene era, approximately 32 to 60 million years ago. Equipped with a jaw, razor-sharp teeth, and flat tooth, it was perfectly designed to crush bones. While it remains unclear whether it was primarily hunted or scavenged, the sheer size of its skull suggests that it could have been twice as large as a grizzly bear cementing its reputation as the largest animal of its time, and possibly of all time. Number 11. Helicoprion This monstrous fish, which lived around 270 million years ago and measured between 20 to 25 feet long, remains one of the most perplexing mysteries in paleontology. In 1899, Russian geologist Alexander Petrovich Karpinsky named this creature Helicoprion, after concluding that these strange remains belonged to a shark-like fish. He initially believed that the teeth were attached to the fish's nose, like a permanently coiled party horn. However, this remnant baffled scientists for over a century, 
leading to wild speculations and illustrations of sharks with whirls of teeth hanging off their snouts, lower jaws, dorsal fins, caudal fins, and even lodged deep within their throats. It wasn't until 2013 that a breakthrough came when a study led by Leif Tapanila of Idaho State University finally revealed the true arrangement of the helicoprion's teeth. The study proposed that the spiral of teeth filled the lower jaw in a buzzsaw formation. As the fish aged, new teeth continually formed at the back of the jaw, while the upper jaw remained nearly toothless. Scientists believe that as the jaw closed, the toothy whirl would rotate, pulling the catch into its mouth in a saw-like motion. To make matters even more terrifying, the largest helicoprion specimen ever discovered had a jaw that was two feet wide. Thankfully, this monstrous predator went extinct around 225 million years ago, because encountering such a creature today would be beyond horrifying. Number 10. Sarcosuchus. Imagine a crocodile so enormous and terrifying that it dominated the prehistoric world. This was the Sarcosuchus, a colossal reptile that roamed the rich landscapes of Africa and South America during the early Cretaceous period, around 133 to 112 million years ago. Its name, derived from the Greek words sarkos, meaning flesh, and sukus, meaning crocodile, perfectly captures its role as a mighty and fearsome predator. Sarkosuchus reigned supreme as one of the largest predators of its time. This ancient giant reached lengths of about 29.5 to 31 feet and weighed between 3.8 and 4.7 short tons, figures that make it a true titan among crocodiles. The first clues to its existence emerged from the Sahara Desert during the mid-20th century, when fragments of its skull, vertebrae, teeth, and shells were uncovered. It wasn't until the late 1990s that the full extent of Sarkosuchus's glory came to light. In 1997 and 2000, renowned American paleontologist Paul Serino and his team discovered six new specimens, revealing more about this giant's features. One of the most intriguing aspects of Sarkosuchus was a bony spine at the end of its mouth, reminiscent of the structure found in modern garfish. However, Unlike the garfish, which show different traits between males and females, Sarkosuchus's skulls suggested this feature served a purpose that remains a mystery to scientists today. Number 9. Platybelodon Platybelodon, a bizarre ancestor of the modern elephant that roamed the Earth between 8 and 20 million years ago, the platybelodon was unlike any animal you've seen before. Its lower jaw extended outward in a way that seemed almost unnatural, forming a peculiar shovel-like structure. But this wasn't just any ordinary jaw. What you were looking at was actually a pair of widened tusks, which were nothing more than modified incisors. These tusks formed a unique tool that served a very specific purpose in the platybelodon's life. Animals don't develop strange features without reason, and the platybelodon was no exception. When this creature was first studied in the 1920s, scientists believed that its lower incisors were used to shovel, scoop, dig, and dredge soft vegetation in wetlands and swamps. But in 1992, paleontologist David Lambert suggested another intriguing theory. These tusks were also shear-like weapons capable of slicing through thick vegetation as the creature foraged on land. Unlike what was initially thought, the platybelodon didn't just stick to shorelines and aquatic environments. It roamed across Miocene Asia, Africa, and North America, using its trunk to grab branches and its specialized, shear-like tusks to cut them down. This unique feeding strategy made it well adapted to terrestrial life. Number eight. Hyenodon. Hyenodon was a member of an ancient family of mammals known as the Creodonta, a group that vanished long before the modern era. These formidable creatures lived around 10 million years after the dinosaurs went extinct, but their own existence came to an end about 20 million years ago. 
What makes them particularly fascinating is that they left no direct descendants behind. One of their most striking features was their extraordinarily large jaws, which were so massive they required additional neck muscles to support them. The name Hyaenodon comes from the Greek words for hyena, reflecting their predatory nature. These ancient predators roamed the Earth from the late Eocene to the early Miocene era, approximately 40 to 20 million years ago. They were found across North America, Eurasia, and Africa. Our knowledge of Hyenodon is enriched by the numerous fossils discovered, thanks to their widespread presence and varied species. Among them, the largest species, like Hyenodon gigas, were comparable in size to modern wolves and likely hunted similarly, though they also scavenged like hyenas. On the other end of the scale, the smallest species, Hyenodon microdon, was about the size of a house cat. Much like today's dogs that can break bones, Hyenodon likely used a swift bite to break the necks of its prey. Number 7. Hallucigenia in 1977, British paleontologist Simon Conway Morris came across an unusual 0.5-inch long remains, first discovered in the Burgess Shale of the Canadian Rockies 66 years earlier. Initially, it had been classified as an annelid worm, similar to parasite and earthworms, but Conway Morris had his doubts. He proposed that this strange organism could walk on several pairs of stilt-like spines, while sporting numerous tentacles along its back. The creature's stupidity inspired him to name it Hallucigenia, as it looked like something you might see in a wild hallucination. But in 1991, researchers Lars Ramskald and Hu Guang turned Conway Morris's theory on its head, quite literally. What Conway Morris had mistaken for tentacles turned out to be the creature's legs, leading them to flip the model upside down. The spines, now correctly placed on its back, were likely used for defense. It wasn't until 2015, after further analysis by Martin Smith from the University of Cambridge, using an electron microscope and additional samples from the Burgess Shale, that scientists could finally determine which end of hallucigenia was the head. This strange little creature had not just a pair of eyes, but also a broad smile filled with teeth. While it's still unclear what exactly Hallucigenia ate, it's believed that the ring of teeth around its mouth was used to suck water and food into its belly. Although tiny, this floppy, dreamlike organism is undeniably unsettling. Number 6. Gigantopithecus Gigantopithecus the huge ape that once roamed southern China between 2 million and 300,000 years ago has left behind a legacy soaked in mystery and speculation. This massive creature, known primarily through the species Gigantopithecus blackii, remains a mystery due to the limited remnant evidence, which includes only teeth and jawbones. These scant remains have sparked numerous debates about its size, behavior, and appearance. In the realm of educated guesses, Gigantopithecus is often imagined as a gigantic, gorilla-like beast. Some estimates suggest it might have weighed between 200 to 300 kilograms. Experts have also proposed the idea of sexual difference, where males were significantly larger than females, although the lack of extensive remnants makes this difficult to confirm. One of the most striking features of Gigantopithecus is its unique dental structure. The reduced incisors and canine teeth functioned more like cheek teeth, paired with high-crowned premolars and the largest molars of any known ape. These molars, with thickness reaching up to 6 millimeters in some areas, were well-suited for an herbivorous diet. This specialized dental adaptation allowed Gigantopithecus to grind, crush, and cut through tough, fibrous plants. Reconstructed as a generalist herbivore, Gigantopithecus likely favored subtropical forest plants, particularly those from the little tree family. Gigantopithecus vanished around 300,000 years ago, likely due to climate changes that led to the shrinking of its forest habitat. 
Now it's time for today's subscriber's pick. In the shadowy depths of prehistoric forests and swamps, where the roar of ancient predators echoed through the mists, there existed creatures that defy imagination. Monsters whose sheer size and ferocity made even the mightiest dinosaurs seem like mere insects by comparison. One such behemoth was the Titanoboa, a serpent so enormous it dwarfed even the largest crocodiles of its time. The Titanoboa, stretching over 40 feet in length and capable of squeezing its prey with unimaginable force, was the peak predator of its time. Its sheer size was enough to invoke nightmares in the bravest of souls. There was also the Megalodon, a shark so massive its jaws could have swallowed a small car whole. Its teeth, as long as a human's forearm, were designed to crush bone with ease. Imagine this predator patrolling the waters, its presence sending ripples of fear through every creature unlucky enough to cross its path. There was also a millipede-like arthropod known as Arthropleura that grew up to eight feet in length. Its armored exoskeleton and fearsome lower jaw made it a formidable predator in its own right. Imagine this beast sprinting through ancient forests, its presence a dark warning for anything smaller that ventured into its territory. What drove these creatures to evolve such terrifying adaptations? How did they interact with their environments and what led to their eventual decline? Let's know your thoughts and comments below. Number 5. Megalodon Megalodon, an ancient sea monster that stretched an unbelievable 50 feet long and tipped the scales at a massive 70 tons. This was no ordinary predator, it was a true giant of the ocean, a creature so immense and powerful that it defies the boundaries of what we can imagine. Comparing Megalodon's size to the great white shark, which, though intimidating in its own right, measures only about 15 feet in length, less than a third of the Megalodon's size. And when we talk about weight, there's simply no contest. At 70 tons, the Megalodon was as heavy as 10 fully grown elephants, a staggering figure that highlights the enormous scale of this prehistoric beast. Number four. Foberomys pattersoni. These real-life ratzillas were the largest rodents to ever roam the earth, stretching up to 10 feet in length, not counting an extra five feet of tail. Fossils of these astonishing creatures have been uncovered in various locations across Argentina, Brazil, and Venezuela. Despite their closest living relative being the unassuming guinea pig, they actually looked more like today's capybaras, though they were far larger and heavier. When scientists examined their skeletons, they found that these massive rodents likely weighed around 800 kilograms. That's about the same as an American buffalo. Foberomys pattersoni had an unusual body structure with massive rear limbs compared to their slender front limbs. This suggests they probably sat back on their haunches while eating, using their smaller forelimbs to gather plants. Like the capybara, Foberomys had a deep jaw and sharp front teeth, perfectly suited for their tough, plant-based diet. Although they were herbivores, their enormous foot-long incisors could have delivered a serious bite if anything threatened them. These gigantic rodents once dominated the wetlands and swamps, towering over the landscape until they mysteriously vanished around 8 million years ago. Number 3. The Pungaka Shawi. Around 105 million years ago, in the ancient and mysterious Aromanga Sea, a predator of unimaginable terror ruled the skies, the Pungaka Shawi. This extraordinary creature, often hailed as a true dragon, was a marvel of evolution. With a wingspan reaching nearly 30 feet, it soared through the air like a living nightmare, casting an ominous shadow over the land and sea below. Its skull, an impressive three feet wide, housed a set of fearsome jaws, equipped with up to 40 razor-sharp teeth, each one designed to slice through flesh with terrifying efficiency. Thapungaka Shawi was more than just a predator. It was a master of aerial dominance. 
Its spear-like mouth wasn't just for show, it was a lethal weapon, perfect for skewering fish and other small prey from the waters beneath, as well as any unfortunate land animals that ventured too close to the shore. The creature's long, twisting neck allowed it to strike with deadly precision, while its enormous wings, reminiscent of a bat's, provided the power needed for swift, silent dives. These wings, covered in a leathery membrane, were not just for flying. They were also used to glide effortlessly, conserving energy as it scanned the horizon for its next meal. This incredible flying reptile was not only the largest ever discovered in Australia, but also among the most formidable aerial predators of all time. The remains of its jaw, uncovered in what is now the western region of Queensland, have given scientists a rare glimpse into the Cretaceous period, a time when dinosaurs roamed the earth and the skies were ruled by these massive winged beasts. The environment of the Cretaceous was vastly different from today. Rich forests, vast rivers, and shallow seas created a perfect hunting ground for Thapungaka Shawi. Number two, Leopleurodon. The Jurassic seas were a monstrous realm where the sight of teeth capable of shredding a shark was not uncommon. Among the most terrifying inhabitants of this ancient underwater world was the extinct reptile, a group of marine reptiles that vanished around the same time as the dinosaurs, leading many to mistakenly believe they were the same. Of the entire extinct reptile, none inspired more fear than the Liopleurodon. This carnivorous giant could weigh over 500 pounds, and grow longer than 30 feet, with nearly a quarter of its body dedicated to its massive skull. Its gaping jaws were lined with rows of razor-sharp teeth, perfect for tearing into flesh. As a member of the Pliosaurus family, a group of short-necked extinct reptiles that ruled as the top predators of the Jurassic oceans, Liopleurodon was supremely adapted to hunting large marine reptiles, fish, and even other extinct reptiles. One of its most remarkable features was its widened jaw, which housed a deadly array of interlocking teeth that were constantly replaced throughout its life. This ensured that Leopleurodon always had a fresh set of lethal blades ready to tear into its prey. But Liopleurodon was more than just a ruthless hunter. It was a true master of its environment. Its streamlined body and powerful flippers allowed it to glide effortlessly through the water, while its keen sense of smell enabled it to detect potential prey from great distances. Number 1. Triassic Kraken In 1857, Danish naturalist Japetus Steenstrup stumbled upon a significant clue, a massive squid beak measuring about three inches across that had washed ashore. After careful examination, Steenstrup concluded that the kraken wasn't just a story, it was real. He identified it as a species of giant squid, which he named Architeuthis dux, or ruling squid. Since Steenstrup's discovery, scientists have described around 21 species of giant squid, each pieced together from different body parts found washed up on shores around the world. These huge giants dwell deep in the ocean, making it difficult to determine their exact size, as intact specimens are rarely found. Some estimates suggest that the largest living species, the colossal squid, could weigh up to 1,005 pounds and grow up to 33 feet in length. While this is impressive, it's still not the kraken of legend. Professor Mark McMenamin of Mount Holyoke College in South Hadley, Massachusetts, believes it's possible. He proposes that enormous squids, reaching lengths of up to 100 feet, may have existed during the early Triassic period. These ancient giants could have preyed on ichthyosaurs, massive marine reptiles, roughly the size of a school bus, resembling today's dolphins. McMenamin first introduced this controversial theory in 2011 at the Geological Society of America's annual meeting in Minneapolis. McMenamin noted that modern cephalopods, such as octopuses, are highly intelligent creatures known to collect bones, shells, and rocks in their tunnels. 
He suggested that the ancient squids might have exhibited similar behavior. Which of these ancient monsters sent fears down your spine? Did you find any of these creatures more terrifying than the dinosaurs we've all come to know? Share your thoughts and comments below.